Now, Luna Coin or Terra Luna, however you say it, it is soaring on social media today because people saw what happened to it last week. They saw that it dropped 99.9999% and it leaves a lot of people wondering, is this a buy opportunity? Now, I will go over the pros and cons of buying Luna Terra at the end of this video, but I really want to go into a tutorial on how to buy Terra Luna because a lot of people want to know how they can get their hands on it just in case it rebounds in price because guys just a couple of weeks ago it was trading at $119 per coin and now Luna Terra is down or Terra Luna is down to around 0 .0004 per coin and you could load up at this time so let's jump right into this tutorial and if it sounds like something you're interested in let's get started Now guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is go down into the description and download the Voyager app. It is super simple to sign up. You're going to get $25 in free crypto just for signing up and making your first $100 deposit, but they make it very easy to buy Terra Luna, and I'm going to show you just how to do it right now. So what you see on this screen is the Voyager app. This is the home page, and they make it very easy to search out or, or find Terra Luna just by scrolling down. So you can see that this is the home page here, and all we're going to do is simply scroll down, and you can see all of the coins that they have available for you to buy, and we're going to search out Luna. So you can see it right there in the middle of the screen. It is currently trading at 0 .00048, and it is already up 18 plus percent today. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to bring up this page right here. Now we can see the day's graph, and it is up 17.3% right now at 0 .00048571 per coin. Now in order to buy this, it is very simple. That button on the bottom that says Buy Luna, all we have to do is click that, and it's going to bring us to this page right here. Now all we have to do here is determine how much Luna Terra or Terra Luna we want to buy. So we can see that we've got uh, one Luna right now equals 0 .0005247 in order to buy it. There is a little bit of a spread there. So let's just say we want to take our lottery ticket chances and buy $10 worth of Terra Luna. Our $10 balance is going to get us over 19,000 Terra Luna at this point in time. And then I can go ahead and click done. And all I have to do to buy now is slide that little button on the bottom to the right. And it's going to go ahead and, and take my transaction, whether or not I want to use you know a deposited balance, if I want to transfer crypto, and so on. Guys, it really is that simple to go ahead and buy Terra Luna right now. Now, I'm going to jump back onto the video here and discuss some of the pros and cons of owning and buying Terra Luna right now. Because like I say, it is a lottery ticket chance and it's got a chance to make a lot of money, but it is still absolutely risky. So let's jump back into the video. Now guys, as you can see, it is extremely simple to set up your account with Voyager, to manage through it, and to buy Terra Luna. And look, for $10, you're going to get your hands on over 19,000 Terra Luna right now, and, and that seems like a great deal. But I do want to discuss some of the pros and cons because, look, with every investment, there is risk and there is reward. Luna Terra or Terra Luna, whatever you guys are calling it, it has a ton of risk and potentially a ton of reward. So it is very simple to get your hands on it right now. Make sure you use that link in the description below. If you just sign up, you're not going to get that reward. If you use the link in the description below, you're going to get $25 in free cryptocurrency for making that $100 deposit. And then you don't have to go through and, and buy $100 worth of Terra Luna if you don't want to. But at least you have that option, right? And the $25, I mean, get $25 in free crypto, buy $25 with a Terra Luna, and it's like you've got your free Terra Luna right there. But let's talk about the pros and cons or the risks and rewards of buying Terra Luna just quick because I want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Now, we do know that Terra Luna dropped from... Uh, $119 in price to that point zero 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 four price tag that we're seeing right now, and that is a drastic decline. Now, it did so, and while doing that, it did mint a ton of new coins. There are over 6 trillion coins in existence right now, and it's going to be very difficult 
to regain those prices that we've seen before, if not impossible. I want to discuss why. With the current outstanding supply of over 6 trillion coins, you know, even if it goes back up to a dollar, that's going to be a $6 trillion valuation. Now, the special thing about Terra Luna is that it can mint and it can burn coins. So we could absolutely see the supply of Terra Luna just deteriorate over the near term and long term future. So if you are willing to take the chance and if you believe that Terra Luna is going to burn a massive amount of coins over the long term or short term, whatever they see fit, you absolutely could reach much higher prices with the coin. Now, I do want to put this disclaimer out there that yes, it is a risky investment. If you are buying Terra Luna, you need to know that you are buying what, what people are calling a failed project at this point in time. Terra Luna dropped so much in price because it was uh, it had a stable coin, UST, that was pegged to a dollar. And it, become de or it became de-pegged from that dollar. And as it fell in value, Terra Luna spiraled out of control. And a lot of people lost faith in the project. And that's why we saw it decline so far in price. But if we were taught anything in 2021, it is that you do not need a project to be successful. Shiba Inu coin soared millions of percent and Terra Luna coin without a project, maybe it's the new meme coin. Who am I to say how high something can go in value? Who am I to say whether or not you should take the chance on, on really setting something up that could prove to be good? As long as you guys know and balance the risks and rewards in this situation, I think you are going to be fine. So look, I would say, and if I suggest anything, never invest more than you're willing to lose, especially on a very risky play like Terra Luna. But if you guys are out there right now and you are looking to potentially get into a lottery ticket play, you saw how simple it is to set up an account with Voyager, how simple it is to scroll through and find Luna Terra, click on how much you want, $10, $20, $100, whatever that value may be, take the chance and, and move on from there. I want to know if you guys are excited though, because look, like I say, there is plenty of risk associated with Terra Luna, but there could be plenty of reward as well. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are thinking about signing up. Maybe you've already gone out there and purchased. Maybe you've already gone out there and made some money off of this Terra Luna dip. Inspire us down in the comments below. And of course, if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. You got Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget, you got other uh, cryptocurrency and, and stock exchanges in the description as well. Webull is no longer trading Lunaterra at the moment, but Webull is an excellent stock brokerage platform with cryptocurrency as well. And then you've got Gemini, Crypto.com, and uh, Binance. If you guys are international users, you could use that international Binance link down in the description to check out and how to get Lunaterra uh, as an international user. So until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.